Phuket Airport and we're on our way to Ho Chi Minh City. So this is goodbye to Thailand and we'll see you in Vietnam. Alright, bye. I'll see you in Vietnam. Oh, good morning. We are in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. Um, and uh, I've been here two days now. Uh, the place is pretty chaotic. It's very noisy, very loud. It's very hot. Uh, rains in the afternoon. Um, but now we're going to go off to the um, um, Ben Pham Market or something. I'll put the proper name later um, to do some, have a look around the market, do some shopping. Crossing the road here is um, take your life in your own hand, you just gotta go for it. So when cars are coming at you at crossroads, you just go for it. I'll just give you a little demonstration there. Just So you just keep walking and then they just go around you. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun. Um, so the taxi from the airport um, cost us, um, I think it was 80,000 baht, something like that, 90,000, no, 98,000 baht. So that's roughly um, $8, which is really good. Now last night we went to, to go and see the puppet, water puppet show. Um, we got there too late. So before, because it was pouring down rain, we just grabbed a taxi and yeah, of course, we got in one of the scam ones. Um, he charged us 33,000, 330,000 dong, which is, um, yeah, over $20. So that was a scam. Um, we argued with him about we're not paying all this and then he's trying to take the money out of our wallet. So just be aware, don't use the taxis around here unless you know you, the hotel's booked it for you. Don't grab a random taxi. Best to use Grab. Go download the Grab app. When you're on Grab, you can select where you go and then choose the price and it's really good. Um, yeah, I'd recommend that all the time. Um, we're just walking through the park at the moment. Got some people doing some random dancing here. I don't know what they're for. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, this park, um, Central Market, um, yeah, there. that's pretty decent inside, there's some great uh, food places in there, um, also there's quite a bit of shopping down there, um, general souvenirs and knockoff goods. Um, I don't think they'll let them join in, but it looks a bit like a Kore Korean pop band to me. How fun is that? I think I should go over there and bust some moves. That would be pretty funny. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to walk, we were going to walk down to the market. Um, I'm on my own today. Helene's uh, gone off on a little tour around the city on the bus. I just wanted to go and um, visit the knockoff markets and just see what all that's about and, you know, see what sort of prices they're charging. Um, generally here, um, I'd say it's a lot cheaper than Thailand. Uh, well, I'd say about half price of what Thailand is. Um, just on food and things like that. Um, you know, buy a bar may roll and it costs you about eighty dollars, eighty cents. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I change the general sights and sounds. Um, it's very old. very busy there's something in every corner but so easy to get lost and let's say don't grab them taxis them random taxi drivers um, 
didn't grab a scooter the other day, I got lost. Um, I was a little bit drunk as well. Uh, so the scooter man offered to kindly take me back to my hotel, which also meant he was kindly trying to prize my money out of me. And I was just having none of it. I said, no, no, that's it. I'm not paying, I'm not paying all those fees. You, you, yeah, take this and go. And then just walked away from, which is all right. So, yeah, well, we're gonna cross the road again now. Oh, this one's an actual crossing. So you do get the green light, but it, it doesn't make much difference. This road's not too busy really, um, yeah, it's still early in the morning, it's still, um, it's 20 to 9 in the morning, but as you can see the top the scooters, they just scoot uh, heaven here yeah, I think. And that's just uh, an average road, not, not really that busy. Oh, and, and you constantly hear horns like being in Bali it's constantly going off all the time um, e even the, the indicators on the bus has got the sound there is like a normal indicator it's, it's just like some high-pitched squealing noise it's like a warning sign you know it's just chaos and noise but say at the moment it's pretty it's pretty okay walking down here it's not too many people about It gets louder on some of them, so yeah. So we're, we're carrying on walking down the road here. Um, I might turn it off in a minute just to cut out the boring parts and uh, let you know more when I get closer to the market. But I'd say the weather here, oh, my, most of my clothes are soaked just in two days. It just, when it rains, in like in the afternoon mostly, it's just torrential. Uh, even my phone stopped working for a while, and my phone's supposed to be waterproof, so I don't know what happened there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sign off for now, and uh, I'll catch up with you when there's something a bit more interesting to talk about here. Look, 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 look,
right, I'm going to sign off now while I find my bearings and I'll get back to you in a, in a minute. Goodbye. Right, so I'm here. I think this is the market because uh, I said it's recognisable by the great big clock tower there. So there's the clock tower. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm on the pedestrian crossing and uh, you've got just take your chances when you cross here. So, just find your gap and make your decision and go. They'll, they'll, they'll go around you. you see? That's it. Pretty, pretty funny, really. They just go around you. So. so yeah, I'm going to go in here. Uh, obviously, got me a fake Supreme bag here to carry my wares around in. Um, just because. There's supposed to be lots of pickpockets and people here, so yeah, we're just gonna go in here now and have a look around. So we are. I'm just looking. So you see, like, gonna get mocked to death here. So I'll film a bit round and then I'll run. So yeah, just walk around, just generally have a look around, but you know, yeah, gonna get mobbed, but that's okay, it's all part of the experience. Um, <laughs> All textiles here, so I'm obviously in the wrong bit again. Right. Hello. I don't know one word of Vietnamese and not, well not a lot of them speak English really I don't know that sounds a bit ignorant but normally when you go to these places they're always rabbiting on to you in English hello boss what do you want and all this sort of carry on but it seems to be the same here yeah? so yeah It seems normal clothes. So obviously it's, it's split up into different areas. Um, these are all just women's everyday clothes. Um, I walk around the whole market just because I want to see what's here. And then I might do a bit of shopping and see what um, I could pick up from there onwards. Practice. Ah, so now we've got to do some food here. Just look at the 
It's all really fresh because it doesn't smell fishy, so you know. I don't like the meat there, but it probably doesn't stay there that long, so the bone's still alive. There's, li there's literally no, no seafood smell or anything here, which is really, really good sign. Um, like crabs, crab meat. Um, That's that's pretty impressive all the seafood there. Um, so yeah, we got to the other side of the market now. The back through here. Um, again, souvenirs here. Uh, butchers. Lots of little souvenirs here. More fish. and tripe there. Obviously you don't get hassled in this part because they're not expecting you to buy it being a westerner. Um, it's just when you get back to the clothes area then they're all at you again. So. Okay, so yeah, back down through all the clothes. Uh, again, I'm gonna sign off till I find something I want to haggle for. Goodbye. Um, okay, see ya. Okay, so I've already bought a pair of um, Black Boost for seven hundred thousand, about forty-three. You, uh, Australian dollars, uh, t-shirt for about ten thousand. I think that's about five dollars. So, but they really, really hassle you here. Hold on to you and don't let you go. It's pretty annoying, but suppose <laughs> part of the experience. <laughs> carry on.
take another attempt to walk down here. Hello, hello. hello. Shoes everywhere. Hi, what are you looking for? Can buy some shoes for? Oh no, I'm choking. Look, you know. Can I hit you, sir? Yeah. Just look at the moment. Just look at the moment. Just look at the moment. Just look at Uh, just, just looking, shopping, window shopping. I'm good. Hello. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank Shop you. for you. Back, back for you. Huh? Oh no, no, then you back. Thank t-shirt. Thank you. Buy t-shirt. Thank you. Oh no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, same, same, but different, I suppose. Everything pretty much the same. Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to sign off for a bit. Right, right. So, I've pretty much done in the market. Um, so chaotic in there. They just grab you, want to let you go, put them in your t shirt, and all that. Um, yeah, oh, asking ridiculous prices for things, and then obviously it goes down. So, and I think general rule of thumb is, wherever they're asking prices, you're going to pay. You can pay about a quarter of that. So that that's just my general rule of thumb. It's always um, seems to be the way. And obviously, do the usual thing where you um, you're going to uh, walk off, and you know, don't not really that bothered about what you're buying. So that's the way to get your bargains, I think. Um, everyone's playing the game, you know, so don't, you're not ripping them off because obviously they're, they're, they're putting those extra prices on them in the first place because they know that, that you're going to haggle with them. So you're just going to go with it and carry on. So, yeah, so I'm carrying more from you. Hello. Hello. No, How are no, you? No. Oh, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> No, that's it, sir. Yeah. This one. I'm good, thank you. I've got good proper glasses. Oh, Vietnamese. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Vietnamese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't smoke. No, All right. Thank you. Yeah. I'm good. No, I'm safe. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so here we go. We're going to cross the road again. So you just got to keep walking, and that's it. So. Easy as that. Choose your route, walk across. Hope for the best. Fingers crossed. Pray to God. Alright, I've done my shopping. Pretty shopping down here. Um, so now I'm just going to go back and uh, meet up with Elaine and then we're going to go and get something for lunch. Um, pretty good shopping trip. First shopping mall was real chaotic. Grabbing at you. Um, holding on to your t-shirt, oh I'll buy this, buy that, got a bit intensive and I managed to speak to an Australian couple in the cafe um, and they said to me just go around the corner there's a market 
similar prices um, and no one you know is more than you which was uh, pretty good because um, I went down one side street and straight away all the um, stuff was cheap so you you could barter a little bit but you, you didn't really need to the prices was uh, already a lot cheaper than they're asking in the bigger market so my recommendation is the market I went to um, have a look round but yeah go round on the, the one round the corner um, again I'll probably put the uh, name of that on the um, video at the end or oh, uh, in between so okay well, I'm signing off now because I'm just getting to the park um, and I'm gonna go back okay see ya bye okay just some more street scene for you I'm waiting across the main road to go to the central market which is just opposite our hotel so yeah you know Plenty of grabs here, scooter or um, taxi, it's up to you. So, yeah. Oh, they're off again. Back at the hotel, now we call the hotel and it's pissing down the rain again. So there you go.